not come out the same sort of bit. So it just it still would work, but it's not as neat. So I'm just doing it again. Right. So it's just a very simple overhand with the rope through it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then with the other end, which I might just make a bit longer, I do exactly the same. Go. Ah, so you're using the other rope. Yep. Yeah. Just using the other end of the rope now. So if I was doing like a circular, you know, I've got two kicker ropes, for example, one each side of the boat, and I want to join them together because you can make it. You don't oh lose no, it. I had the thing like you went wrong. Okay, so you just that got to. shows it really clearly. Yeah. Hang on. I go underneath. Yep. Back around. Yep. Up. And then just through itself. So this, can you see how it is? So this red one's just moving. Ah, oh, done it, done it, done it. So you just need to make sure that these two bits come out the same and at this end these two bits come out the same and then pull the the non loose ends as it were. Yeah. That's so cool. That's nice. This Isn't is my it? favorite knot. It's my I favorite like it. knot. Too. I think it's it might be my so nice. favorite knot. <laughs> Abby's just joined. Hi Abby. Okay. We are just Hi, Abby. knot. This is also John Claridge's favourite knot. Ooh. John Claridge is the builder of moths and lightnings and some other stuff. My British man. moths. British moths. Oh. Abby's moth. I've actually um, got um, a necklace. Which yeah, which you can I've actually tighten it. around your neck. <laughs> On the back so that, that you, can, you can <laughs> tighten it and loosen it. Yep. Or you can make them into a bracelet and so you can bracelet, have it looser yeah. and tighter. This is a good one for um, also if you haven't got continuous spinnaker sheets or continuous jib sheets, it's a good one for tying the two sheets together. So we do this on school boats when we're doing spinnaker sailing. It just means you don't have both loose ends you know, running around your feet separate. You can just pick up any, anywhere. It's a bit less bulky than the the overhand that we. And if you were at. really clever, you would just make it so that the end is quite short, so that it looks tidy. Yeah, see like that. What what I do if I'm if I'm using this knot on my boat, I'll quite often tape down these ends, just to make them lie flush because I'm like that. I'm but then will it not move? If you're doing that? They wouldn't move. They no. wouldn't move, but I, I don't want them to move. If I'm using them for sheets, I just want them to stay tied and not be bulky and in the way. So I'd put a bit of tape around there. Oh. Now, obviously, if you want it to go through a, a cleat or something, it won't. No, but then you'd have to do good splicing and stuff. But, yeah, but that's a good thing. But that's thing. fine. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. But just so you know, you couldn't keep turning it in a circle because it wouldn't fit through any of the little cleats or anything. Gemma, what you have to be careful of if you're if you're tying the middle of your traveller together, um if you if this was going out to the far side, I can't hang on. If this was come if you were sitting on the red side and this white one was coming opposite to the other cleat, if they're going across, it is possible to get an inadvertent pull on it and have it uncleat the traveller. So just Okay. Something to think about. If it's not too tight, presumably it wouldn't do it. It's less likely. To no, if it's if it's nice and slack, it'll be fine. But if it's, I made this mistake in my fin, and I couldn't work out why I was uncleating the traveller all the time, and it was because the lines were too tight and it was just pulling out. So, so that knot is not in the syllabus, but it's still very useful. It is. It is in the syllabus. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I take I can't it. Can't remember back. where exactly. Maybe it's in the sailing with spinnakers. Might be sailing with spinnakers. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to go back to something like a reef knot? I was going to do. Time I'll try and undo back. this one first. <laughs> Does anybody need to see that one again? Or are you all? Can you do it again for me? Because mm -hmm. I was late. I oh, think well. I know how to do it, but. Okay, right, just undoing it, hang on. Right, so, got my two ends. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be able to Yeah. yeah. Just put underneath. Yeah. Tie it round so that it looks like that. Okay. So the white one will just run, however. Yeah. So, and then, 
this one goes underneath. Yeah. Round and ties at this end. Yeah. Again, so these two are out, and then you just pull the you two pull. ends. Yeah. Okay. Little, little pretty knot. Yeah. Okay. Has Jane got it? Jane's got a lot of rope. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Oh dear, clear it. Um, so we're gonna what what knot might you use? Let's imagine that this is our stump that we're gonna tie our boat up to while we have our tea and cake. What note note no not what knot <laughs> are you gonna tie up to? Yeah. Okay. Close edge. Yep. Any others? Around ten two more pitches. Yep. Highwayman pitch. Oh, what's the one of them? Well, I, I obviously can't do it, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you. Okay, let's go with the clothes hitch. When you do a clove hitch, do you do it? Do you do it? Do you do it? Gladys showing the Mickey, Hannah's showing the Mickey Mouse version. I do it without thinking about it, and if I start to think about it, I screw it up. So. <laughs> um, okay. I can do it on an upright without yeah. eating as well. The easy way, if it's an open twist like this is, do you want to show? Yeah. You drop a loop over. Yeah. Okay, so I'm making a loop. Here's the loose end. Loop like that, and a second loop. You need to make sure the loops here are crossing in the same direction. So hold yeah. on, Can you see that? So it's got to go over and over, a bit like this. Nikki's frozen for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I can't see Nessa at all. I don't want to see me holding the camera. Oh, I see. Oh, that's Wait again. I'm just we copying move. Hannah right now. I can't okay. copy. I'll Nikki. keep going then. Right. Um, we'll, so this yeah, is going on to this one. So I'm making one loop. And at yeah. the moment, it's crossing at the back. Yeah. And I'm making that one. And I'm crossing again. But at the front. Also crossing at the back. So that your lines coming down, they'll be on opposite sides of your going across. So if you've got like your, it's like a letter H, isn't it? So your, you need to make sure that your downward lines are there's one on top and one right. behind, um, below. Yeah, yeah. And then that. you cross them over. Oh, hello. Oh, cross them over which way? <laughs> you need to make sure that you, yeah, you cross them so that you trap yeah. those. Okay. Yeah. Downward. And then what do we do with the tail? The tail will be attached to your boat potentially, or. Just oh, yes. It's so it goes round a a this. right pole or cross right pole. No, I don't think mine would do very much. It would just slide off. It's all right. Yeah, that it's. it did I do right. it right? Okay, if you, uh, can you see me again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's better, Nikki. Yeah. So I've done the first oh. loop like that. Yeah. The second loop in the same oh. way. Yeah. Yeah. And then the first one goes on top of the second one. If it goes underneath, it will just wind off. Oh. So I've got no, that. side goes on top. And then Can here's my post. The first loop that you made. Yes. Goes on top. Yeah. And then put it over your finger or loop. No, no, no. Fold it over. Oh. Slide it over. Like two sheets. Just, Hang on. Oh. Oh. Okay, so oh. Veronica. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you got it now. So yeah, you sure. don't fold. You don't fold it over like this. Right. You right, slide right. it over like this. Yes. A bit like uh -huh. a, yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. Look, you can just put it over your post. Here's oh, that's ready. different to mine. I've gone wrong. Yeah. Oh, mm. that's yeah. And that's a clove hitch. Yes. No, I think you're right, Cedar. But the way that so all of your it. strings like away from each other rather than in the same direction just twist that round a bit cider so we can see the knot oh, no maybe not oh, she's frozen again. oh she's frozen is there a, are we doing is a, a recorder? yeah yeah it is. 
Fair enough, yeah. Oh, no. I'm doing, doing Zoom lessons to my niece oh. of the recorder. So if you, Cider, if you pull the two pieces apart from each other instead of in the same direction, you might find it's actually fine. Oh, yeah. oh, looks a bit yeah. scary in oh, that picture. Yeah. <laughs> I look like I'm doing that. One behind, yeah. one behind together. Um, team, team, just to let where you can tell you know. it's right is you've got kind um, of two parallel lines and a diagonal across it. I always think it looks like the old British Rail sign. I know it doesn't really. Oh yeah, it does. Of, so it does in the middle, does it look like that? Oh yeah. Um, I think so. Hold it a bit. Yeah. If you yeah, I think that's right. Line. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. See, it's got the two lines and the diagonal. Have you managed it, Veronica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, Jane. It's uh, I've attached Jane it. Jane Davis. Or both Jane's, yeah. And the more you pull, the tighter it gets. Yeah, that's. And yep. just to let you know, Zoom is going to kick us off in seven minutes. So if you just rejoin using the same link, I'll make sure you will get back in. Sorry about that. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. I can do it my way. Can I can demo it again, or are we all right? So okay. one twelve goes in front, and one twelve goes behind, and then you put them on. And then you yes. put them together. Yeah. So I'll do it one more time, Cider, on here. Hang on. If okay, I do that, I do it wrong. Round. 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 Yeah. Okay, and then you don't yeah. twist it on. You just slide it over the top. Like so tectonic plate. The rope, actually. And then Yes. Veronica, I don't think you need I think you're over doing it. Find yourself a, a have you got a thumb to put it on? I yeah, think yeah. So, I think you put your loop through and you only need to put it just just one on top of the other. Yeah. And then pull. Rather than putting your loop through so that it looks so it's meant to be, it. it's kind of around your thumb. Because you can see hers, they're both going So away. mine is, is, is that not right? I think it's not quite. Oh, I no. think you did an extra step. I think you went through. Oh. Well, yeah. if I pull it, it just comes undone again. If okay, I have so a thumb on. in the middle. Let's, let's watch it, watch it again, Veronica. Right. Oops, hang on, lost me then. So right. one loop, one, one loop, loop with that in front. Then one loop with that behind. Yep. With that in front as well. And we, okay, and then yeah. don't don't fold them together. Try no. and do it flat maybe, rather than holding it. And put the second one flat on top of the first. Oh, the second and one. And then that bit there. is where you would put over the pole. No. Oh, I see. So you get you get two bits. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, you that looks better. Yeah. Yeah. That oh looks... look, I can put it around this dog's nose. Mickey, look. <laughs> oh. Mickey. Can you demonstrate again, but not on the poor dog? Not on the dog. Okay. <laughs> He's just watching. Right. This is his this toy is... rope. <laughs> One like that. <laughs> Second loop like that. Yeah. First loop is just going flat over the top. <laughs> so that I have one big hole like that, and I'll just pick it all up and put it over, uh, put it on there, and then pull the pieces apart from each other. So not yeah. in the same oh, direction. Oh, apart from my each other, so you get that nice pattern, the British Rails pattern. No, yeah. no, my boat's somewhere down the river. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it on top of the pole, but I can't do it two loops and then put it on the pole. I really try it the other no. way. Maybe Maria's going to be like you. Maybe yeah, she'll find maybe. it easier the other way. Oh, that's clever. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you're going to stick your boat down. <laughs> <laughs> Senior inst instructor at St. Edmundsbury, it was always his boat that drifted off the shore. He was always the one who got his knot wrong. So if you didn't have a top to the, if it was like a bar instead of a post, you'd have to wrap it round. Oops. If you know what it kind of looks like, you'd have to wrap it round, wrap it round, and then cross it over like that, and then bring it back under itself. And then you still, so that was if it was like a bar instead of something that you could just stick it over the top. 
if you kind of visualize it you can kind of work out how to do it once you know what it looks like okay my boat's just floated off okay if you're not confident about tying that one and you just want to tie a basic loop to put over the post what's it gonna be oh i'd i'd just do a quick sort of thing like that okay yeah so the the official one that you ought to be looking to tie would be a bowline oh mm. yes i do like it okay. but i forget I it so bowline. quickly right you ready to watch this then it lowers so, the camera the that's it so Actually, sorry i wasn't concentrating <laughs> looking at the screen so i've made my loop here yeah there's lots of ways of doing this i'll show you this doesn't really matter which way the loop goes yeah. and then you get this loose end here yeah. okay and you can kind of see you've got like a double like an igloo you go up the rabbit hole Yay. yeah Okay, and then you go behind the tree. Now you've got to make sure your tree is the right piece. It's the furthest back one. So depending which way you've gotten crossed, it's going to go under this one and then yeah. back down the same way that it came up. Oh my wordy word, I was with you till the back down the same way it came up. Okay, hang on. I've gone up the rabbit hole. Yeah. I've gone behind the tree, which is the out of these two ones that you crossed at the beginning, it's whatever one's the furthest back. Yeah. So gone like that and then okay. it came up here originally so it's just going to go back down the same way that it came up <laughs> <laughs> okay i need to practice that one okay so maybe you can visualize it you can sort of see how the rope will go can you see it kind of goes up here goes round the back and it goes back down to where it came from so I think I I don't know when I when I'm teaching I start There's lots of ways it might be a, a bunny if yeah. that helps and oh, then yeah. my so a buffer bunny or an, a number six really and my tree is the one that comes from underneath and comes up so it comes from underneath the ground and then I can do my rabbit comes up the hole round the tree and back down it's a i don't know that's what and i find helpful <laughs> yeah and you know you know um when you know when it's done right because it looks like a little life jacket like one of those oh, old fashioned cute. life jackets oh, funny in a life jacket <laughs> <laughs> put it on the post hang on i'll just put it over my post and my boat is now safe no oh uh, no i don't oh i came with that what is that I've got oh, something like that, that as right. well, Cider. Yes, but I've got another bit in the middle. Yes, yeah, the bit you put over the post. Right? That is the that loop. Fine? You've just got your two ends longer, I think. It's still the same. It's, mine's on a loop. It can oh, often be easiest if you actually tie, put the end round whatever 